Another Tuesday, another day of Expansive World stream on Call of the Wild, the Hunter. So today we are looking at what they showed off. And they showed off some really cool stuff, guys. It is an interesting update they've got coming up between the new New England map, the new moose animations, and a bunch of other really cool stuff. Small stuff that they just kind of dropped in here and there. So let's dive right into this. So the first thing they showed off is putting on skins or camos per part on your guns, and they showed off camos on bows. So essentially what you're able to do is set your barrel to orange, for instance. You can set your stock to a woodland camo, and you can do a bunch of other little things to change the gun to be uniquely yours, which is great, because let's be honest, you see the gun a lot in Call of the Wild. Next up, we have the new harvest screen. Yeah, new harvest screen. For people that are content creators, this is absolutely massive. It makes thumbnails significantly easier to make. It makes it just way easier to deal with all of these things. Now, I know that's a little bit selfish of me, but the thing that you guys care about here is you can see the entire animal on here now. And not only that, but the redone moose looks phenomenal. It no longer looks like painted on fur. The fur kind of actually you can see it on there and the things aren't clipping off the side of the screen. Also, there's a full body inspection view that you can use that just makes it way easier to see everything going on. Now, along with that comes new moose like I said, animations, uh, new moose behavior, a bunch of little things that they tweaked to make the new moose grind completely new and entertaining. Now, we also got a list of animals that will be moving to different reserves here. Unfortunately, there are some that didn't quite make the cut because of just, you know, technology issues, bandwidth issues, team time, things like that. So let's go through the list. We have Pheasant on Hirsch and Quattro. We've got Miriam Turkey on Layton. We've got Grey Wolves and Caper Callies on Medved. We've got Grajan Widgeon on Verhunga. We've got Peccary on Fernando. We've got Canadian Goose on Yukon Valley. Ballards are hitting Tiaroa. We've got Pronghorn going to Rancho, and Greenwing Teal on Mississippi. Now, the last little note here that I want to make is they announced something that I'm actually extremely excited about. This is pins from your binoculars. Yeah, so you don't have to go to your map anymore to put a pin on a spotted animal. Now you can just pull your binos up, spot that animal, click a button, and pin it on your map. So if you do down a group of animals or an animal that you're just having trouble finding, you can go ahead, spot it, click the button and have that pin on your map so you can go right to it. Comment down below, let me know if this update piques your interest, what your favorite part of this update is, or what you guys are most looking forward to out of all of these update announcements. 